Welcome to the Global Symposium for Regulators 2024, GSR 24, being held here in Kampala in Uganda. And we're here in the ITU studio, and I've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio today by Ms. Dorian Bogdan Martin, who is the Secretary General of ITU. Dorian, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Thank you, Max. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the history of GSR and what we would be doing if uh, we were starting today. GSR has existed for 24 years. It's uh, been going, as I say, for 24 years. You've been instrumental in its creation. Uh, what changes have you observed since the first GSR in 2000? And would you approach things differently if you were starting today? Mm, great question. So 24 years ago, uh, we gathered in Geneva uh, for the first time, um, and it was really, it was to fill a gap. Uh, there was something new happening. Uh, there were regulators popping up all around the world. Uh, at the time, less than half of the ITU membership had um, separate regulators, uh, but we saw a trend with new uh, regulators popping up. and different countries, and we felt it was an opportunity to gather and to exchange experiences amongst new regulators, older regulators, um, and try to help shape best practice. Uh, back in the day, in 2000, it was a different kind of world. Um, only 7% of the world was actually online. Um, the issues that regulators were focusing on um, was basically introduction of competition in mobile. Uh, some countries were starting to privatize uh, their PTTs back in the day. Uh, and countries were starting to look at things like convergence, uh, but it was not convergence as we think of it today. It was more convergence between telcos, broadcasting, and things like cable TV. Uh, so it really was quite different back then, but I think the rationale and the need for a global symposium for regulators um, still holds true and perhaps today is more important than ever before. Uh, when I look back um, to 2000 versus today, I think maybe one of the things that could have helped us more back then, uh, but it's certainly not too late and it's definitely something we've been doing uh, for the past few years, is to bring in other line regulators. And so we talk about collaborative regulation. So when it comes to digital, which cuts across every sector of the economy, we need to make sure that the ICT regulators uh, are talking to all the other regulators within their countries. So this uh, notion of fifth generation regulation is something that's absolutely critical. Yesterday, in your opening speech, you highlighted AI and space. Why is it so important for the regulators here at GSR to focus on these topics in our digital landscape? Thank you. Well, we're here to talk about charting the course for transformative technologies and making sure that they have a positive impact on society. And so I would mention two numbers, 4.4 and 1.8, and that is trillion dollars. So when I think of the 4.4, that is what generative AI is expected to bring annually to the global economy. When I think of the 1.8, that's what the space economy is supposed to, um, to bring by 2035. Okay, big numbers, big impact. Uh, and regulators need to um, figure out how they can leverage both everything happening in space and everything happening around AI for the benefit of, of, of the global good. Um, when we look to space, for example, in the ITU and we collect the, the satellite filings, uh, we have filings for more than one million satellites to be up in the sky by 2030. Uh, and so the implications are huge. On the plus side, the implications for connectivity uh, but on the needs to be followed and watched are things like space sustainability, space traffic management. And so it's important that regulators uh, keep these elements in, in mind as they, as they look at not just today, but they look to the future. Uh, when it comes to artificial intelligence, um, again, much can be done linking it with space, 
but also in terms of, of general connectivity. Uh, we have seen a number of our line regulators, so to speak, uh, take on new scope and mandate, both in space activities as well as in artificial intelligence. And I think it's in all of our interest that we look at shaping regulatory frameworks uh, that help to ensure that innovation can flourish, uh, that good will come from these technologies, and that we find ways to manage and mitigate potential risks uh, and possible bad that can come from these technologies. And that's why it's so important for the global regulatory community to gather. Uh, we talk about regulators uh, in some ways as referees. Um, I like to think of regulators as enablers. Uh, we use the image of the lighthouse. I think that's very appropriate. Lighting the way and again, looking to the future and helping to chart uh, a positive path for technologies in the future. Jordan Bogdan-Martin, thank you very much for joining us here in the studio and for sharing these valuable insights with us and look forward to catching up with you again very soon. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. And if you've enjoyed this interview, then why not check out our other interviews on our YouTube channel as well as our podcast on our podcast channels. And for further information, why not visit our website at www.icu.int. Thanks for tuning in.